multiple applications related to image and video processing so we will see by which way it can be attached with scilab platform and how to work on some real time applications related to image and video processing as you might have worked on a particular flavor particular version of scilab either 5 or 6 so as far as computer vision applications are concerned there are multiple variants of open cv multiple variants of modules related to open cv for scilab so we will see for scilab 5 as well as for scilab 6 because in case of uh, scilab 6 there are uh, some additional features integrated which we can integrate okay so as you can see uh, so first of all we will discuss about different applications different domains where we can in use open cv whether you are working on some open source hardware like uh, raspberry pi arduino boards so different applications we can work out it is cross platform scenario that uh, we can integrate in uh, different types of devices whether these are for drones swarm drones for military applications for traffic management okay for example you are capturing some real time videos via webcam via cctv and in real time we want to process in real time we want to perform some uh, implementations related to machine learning or deep learning in case of uh, current versions of open cv are uh, is there so recent versions of open cv is also integrated with deep learning there are so many pre trained models available related to deep learning which we can use in open cv so we will see its official website and uh, in parallel to that we will see its interfaces with different programming platforms so this is first application domain whether we are working on single drone application or swarm drones automated devices robotic applications manufacturing telemedicine in multiple domains we can use open cv very easily and with higher degree of performance are these presentations are these slides visible to all of you kindly write in chat so that we come to know that you are getting all the coverage clearly are you getting all of these screens and audio clearly kindly write in okay yes, so yes, sir, whether you yes, sir, okay. clearly visible okay thank you sir so whether we are working in uh, traffic monitoring vehicular network analysis in uh, internet of vehicles so we can attach scilab we can use scilab for wireless programming also it can be integrated for iot based applications okay so very powerful platform very powerful library which is having interface to different programming languages so as you can see here whether we want to work for agriculture domain or law enforcement or for military applications it can be easily deployed okay and one more thing that in parallel to open cv we can 
integrate some additional platforms also so oh, these other platforms like boof cv simple cv these are also having direct interfacing with open cv or we can say that uh, they they are also using some plugins of open cv so different extensions are available for deep learning we can use yolo or multiple pre trained models okay so first of all we will see its uh, official portal that is opencv.org and after that we will see its multiple programming interfaces so you can see this is the official portal of opencv that is opencv.org and uh, it's it is completely free and open source cross platform environment for computer vision applications okay so you can see this it is completely compatible with ai based applications so opencv ai kit is available and uh, this you can see its github link is available with us online documentations for example we want to work with image for jury detection we want to work with video fingerprinting or uh, video matching morphology analysis for each and every application we are having its uh, libraries its plugins in open cv platform and as far as machine learning and deep learning are concerned these libraries these functions are already available for example you want to work with some drone application you want to work with some robotic application with open cv then there is no need to program any particular machine learning algorithm explicitly hundreds of algorithms are already available random forest approach support vector classifiers in unsupervised learning so many approaches are there if you want to work with some feature point detection forgery analytics so whatever you can think we want to perform in computer vision we will get it via open cv platform okay and one more thing is there it is not compatible to a single platform not only uh, compatible not only having uh, common interfaces but for multiple programming platforms it is compatible if you want to work with python java matlab gnu octave or scilab in ruby on rails php dot net for multiple programming platforms its apis are available so no need to worry that you are already working in matlab then can we integrate it with open cv or not if we are already working in java then should we then uh, can we integrate open cv with java or not for enormous programming languages its interfaces are available and huge community of developers for example we are struck at a particular point so many forums bulletin boards are available which we can use for open cv programming as far as base platform is concerned its base platform is c and c++ it is written in c and c++ at back end but its apis or higher level interfaces are available for multiple programming languages okay and whether we are working on 2d or 3d feature kits 
और मल्टी डायमेंशनल डेटा एनालिटिक्स मल्टी डायमेंशनल इमेजेस मल्टी डायमेंशनल प्लॉट्स फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीज एप्लीकेशन इट्स लाइब्रेरीज आर अवेलेबल सो वेदर यू आर वर्किंग इन ए आर एंड वी आर ऑगमेंटेड रियालिटी वर्चुअल रियालिटी साइबर फोरेंसिक्स साइबर सिक्योरिटी document forensics for example you want to identify whether this particular signature is manual or it is scanned whether it is manual or it's inserted as a picture in document object identification camera calibration depth estimation speed estimation for multiple applications related to computer vision we can work with open cv very easily and not only these algorithms hundreds of statistical and machine learning algorithms are available these are already integrated for example we want to work with knn approach or nav bias classifier on real time videos on real time images we are capturing we want to implement random forest approach on dynamic images we are getting from webcam or cctv it can be done in real time mode if we want to work with feature point analytics or edge detection corner detection or feature matching these are pre programmed in open cv based functions okay and for multiple platforms whether these are software or hardware okay there is no particular limitation related to hardware or software requirement whether we are having cpu or gpu or we are working with tpus we are having a traditional hardware architecture it will be working on that even on mobile platforms ios blackberry android on these platforms also on smartphone operating systems also we can work with open cv and used as a primary package in robot operating system so very powerful for robotic applications if you want to work on some robot related to telemedicine telehealth or we want to work on a drone application or manufacturing robot or agri bot which we use in agriculture so anywhere on any type of software or hardware it can be deployed any type of processor okay now we will see how to integrate it with our scilab okay up to this point is it clear to all of you which are different features which are different applications of open cv yes, sir. okay now we will see how to integrate it with scilab so first point that we should be clear while using open cv with scilab for scilab there are two variants of open cv okay not only single plugin so i am opening my scilab so you can see here in my system both flavors are installed scilab 5 as well as scilab 6 okay so why we are working on two flavors if we want to work with open cv 
using SIPCV, okay, IPCV and SIVP, okay, this is IPCV. One is IPCV and second is your SIVP. Okay. So these two libraries work in Scilab 5. Okay, so SIVP you can search. It is available in Scilab 5. Okay, compatible with Scilab 5. Now, second variant. So this is first point that if, if we are working in Scilab 5, then we will be able to work with SIVP and IPCV. If we are working in Scilab 6, in that case, we use SCICV. So you can see here. So you can see this OpenCV. Scilab interface to OpenCV library. So if we want to work with object detection, 2D feature detection, video analytics, computational photography, image stitching, these domains can be worked out using SCICV. If we want to work with traditional OpenCV interfacing, then this is we go for IPC. Okay, for this. So both of these flavors, bo both of these variants are having interface to OpenCV. So IPCV for Scilab 5, SCICV for Scilab 6. If you want to work with machine learning, then we use Scilab 6 using SCICV. If we want to work with these applications, then we go for Scilab 5. Okay. Is it clear? What is major difference between SCICV and IPCV? Is this clear? Kindly write in chat. Yes, sir, clear, sir. Okay. So now we will start with SIVP. So on both variants we will work. So this is interface to computer vision library so, OpenCV. That is SCICV. Okay. Now, so you can see that uh, it's clearly visible that it, its source is created for Scilab 6.x. Its source is visible for Scilab 6 mentioned here, but many times there are some compatibility issues. Okay. So on both variants, we will work. Now we will see how to work with the implementation part. So while working with traditional image and video processing you might have worked on these like i am read i am write how to convert it from rgb to grayscale so so many traditional implementations so many traditional functions you you have already covered so while working with sivp ipcv and scicv we will take some scenarios which are dedicated to image intelligence or which are dedicated to video intelligence or video data analytics. So I'm showing you one video here. 
So this this is some video, a video file. Okay. For example, uh, I want to fetch some particular frames from this particular streaming video from this particular video file it is in avi format okay whether some particular video file is in avi mpeg mp4 or any other format we can work with it you might have seen uh, many scenarios where we need to fetch frames from a particular video fetching of frames actually each and every video is a combination of frames each and every frame is an independent image okay and we know that at back end of each and every image we work with matrix matrix manipulations matrix operations some scenarios you might have studied that from a particular video if we want to fetch a particular song if a particular video is in black and white and from that video we want to fetch a particular frame a particular song then what we do we check at which particular timeline at which particular point that frame starts and by analysis of that particular frame timeline we can fetch a particular clipping so we will see here for example in this particular video there are so many frames and we want to fetch out a particular frame okay rather than viewing rather than running entire video if we want to fetch a particular frame so you can see here avi open if we want to open a video file this is inbuilt function and it is available in open cv that is already available in scilab that is that we can install okay so i'm opening scilab and we will see so you can see this so i'm opening that scenario scilab open cv okay and uh, here so you can see this uh, using avi open function we can read a video file and one more thing is there that is also very important that in our system appropriate codec should be there when we work with high performance applications related to video processing specifically we need a codec how many of you are aware with xvid and dvix what is xvid and dvix engine are you aware with this what is xvid and dvix kindly write in chat are you aware with it, with this or not what is xvid or dvix aware or not aware you can write so that we come to know that you are aware with this engine that is for video processing have you ever worked on codec that is xvid and dvix for high performance applications related to video analytics 
B must be having X read engine in our system. It provides highest level of resolution to that video. You might have seen when we work with some video files which are having very good resolution. These are these may not be compatible with our system. For example, we have we are having very less resolution in our device and we are opening a video file then it's performance its view will be compromised so x vid and dvix these engines provide additional functions in our system so that we can work with high resolution videos we can open and process high resolution videos using xvid and dvix interface there is no need to have a very good camera quality okay even with a low resolution camera 2 megapixel 8 megapixel we can capture good quality videos and images so that is main purpose of xvid and dvix which uh, these are available in free you can download it okay so it is available free it is basically the codec okay so so many links are available for xvid and dvix okay so you can see that xvid open source mpg video codec freely available if you are having vga camera or low resolution camera we can install this engine without taking additional camera or additional device okay so after installation of xvid codec in our system then we can work with very good implementations of video processing so avi open provides the functionality to open any video file so how many frames we want to fetch so avi read frame okay for f is equal to 1 to 10 for example from a video file i want to i want to fetch only first 10 frames it means only first 10 images because each and every video is a sequence of images sequence of frames that we can do using this inter using this function and in parallel to that we execute i am show so whatever image is getting fetched it is displayed using i am show functions okay so you can see that here i have changed the path current working directory in opencv scilab and here we can use it so you can see this now uh, if i want to perform some additional functions so i am writing this code here okay so for example this is the code i am is equal to this okay so now this is frame so we can perform any operation here on this particular image okay. i am is equal to like this okay then we can check so we can play we can play with the video now you can see this so 
it like this. for example so what, whatever operation we want to perform on that particular frame so on individual video we can perform implementations related to image analytics so each and every frame will be fetched out and we can process it so you can see that this this operation so 255 minus that particular frame in this way but if we are not using it then you can see it will be displayed as it is so directly we are executing this is the actual video you might have seen in many movies in many old black and white movies such things are done to convert a particular song from black and white to rgb to colored or a particular song we want to convert from rgb to gray or rgb to any other color combination okay. so in same way for example we are doing like this so whatever operation we are applying so it will be implemented on that particular video sequence is it visible to all of you so using open cv library it is possible yes sir yes sir visible so whatever frame we have fetched so if we are performing this multiplication operator this multiplication operation so you can see this that combination will that particular implementation will be done and uh, so for example we want to find out feature points so it can also be done so whatever features uh, we want to extract or we want to insert a new image in a particular video or if we want to cut out some particular uh, frame that we can perform okay so this is the first part that we have seen related to video frames fetching frames from video file and we can perform any operation okay so this thing we have shown here so if you want to fetch some videos via camera so it can also be done you can see that as soon as we have written it so automatically uh, this particular integrated webcam will be open okay cam open rather than on a particular uh, static video rather than on a particular uh, recorded video we want to capture frames from a camera so we use it okay. cam open and after that a vi read frame and uh, whatever operation we want to perform so in same way we can perform implementations on integrated cameras okay now we will see so these operations you might have done al already like uh, image subtraction how to subtract two images how to identify a particular point in video okay so for example two samples you are having related to a particular image you want to check the Manipul manipulation point we want to check at which particular point there is some modification so simply i am subtract okay i am read and after that i am subtract so wherever these differences are available it will be displayed and uh, now we will see some applications related to filtering are these points covered already can be confirmed whether filtering operations are covered or not in previous sessions low pass filtering high pass filtering image analytics using open cv interface is it done uh, kind, kindly write in, kindly write in chat there is some background okay. noise kindly write in chat whether these operations filtering operations image filtering is done or not
ओके ओके नाउ वी विल सी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फिल्टरिंग ऑपरेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड बी क्लियर वट इज एक्चुअली रोल एंड यूजेज पैटर्न ऑफ फिल्टरिंग फिल्टरिंग मीन्स वी वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई अ पर्टिकुलर ऑपरेशन ऑन एन इमेज so that either we can insert some noise or we can denoise it we can clear it to refine a particular image filtering means refining okay and when we perform some filtering operation on any image then at back end we use a particular matrix in case of low pass filtering which is that matrix so this is the matrix 1 1 by 9 okay so we integrate this particular matrix with the actual image what is value of 1 by 9 it is 0.1 okay so you can see here 0.1 a new matrix we have created and with direct implementation of im filter function so on which image on x x is this flower dot jpg now you can see the quality it is also related to smoothening how to smooth a particular image how to smooth a particular video for example there is a particular uh, video very sharp Uh, in in very sharp way it is captured it is captured from a particular um, camera which was not having good resolution these applications are related to camera calibration what is camera calibration anybody kindly write in chat what is meaning of camera calibration why it is used if you don't know simply you can write don't know not aware this is low pass filtering what is meaning of camera calibration and its applications where we use it any idea low pass filtering or high pass filtering in applications related to camera calibration camera calibration means adjustment of camera adjustment of those videos or images which uh, which are recorded from camera in in appropriate way okay for example some camera was used uh, from a particular vehicle while moving in a car while moving in a vehicle you have recorded a video you have taken uh, taken an image in that case we have to work on camera calibration techniques that while running while moving your camera is able to capture images and many times if we are uh, not able to uh, capture images properly then we implement filtering techniques low pass filtering or high pass filtering so this is the most basic type of filtering operation it is also known as blurring or smoothing okay blurring or smoothing so that a particular blunt image sharp image very sharp image so everybody knows that very very sharp image is not eye soothing okay to to make a particular image eye soothing we implement low pass filtering okay and 
to work with low pass filtering we use a matrix that is 1 by 9 0.1 and we pass it we integrate it with that particular image so you can see this whatever image we have taken so this image this is the image okay i am show x this is the actual image very sharp image if you want to implement some filtering operation low pass filtering operation to make it eye soothing then we use a matrix so this is the matrix so it's up to you whether you want to write 1 by 9 so you can write 1 by 9 also so there is no thumb rule that we will have to write 0.1 okay 0.11 also you can write this is f and uh, y and after that i am show y okay so you can see this this is the image okay now the question comes uh, which are different areas of research which are different scope of updation in filtering techniques for example you are doing research in image processing in this area low pass filtering i want to see okay rather than taking this specific matrix rather than taking this particular value 1 by 9 uniformly if we try to modify it then what will be the output for example i have taken i want i am modifying it in this way okay rather than taking 0 uh, 0.1 i am changing this particular value 0.3 and in this now we will we can see what impact will be there now you can see that this is presented in a different way in a different form in a different color combination in a different color format this image is modified so we can check it okay at which particular threshold it is implemented to better quality okay so these values we can modify or we can check okay whether 1 by 9 is fine or not okay so it is almost similar to that even if we have modified from 0.1 to 0.2 okay so this is low pass filtering and if at this point we are modifying it at this point we are modifying it then we can check so im filter that is available in scilab open cv is this point clear to all of you Yes, sir. Okay, so this is IM filter function, and uh, we can add some additional parameters also. We can use additional parameters. Okay, now we'll see smooth. How to smooth, use smoothing? How to use smooth filter? Okay, so in case of smooth filter, you can see that that rather than taking one by nine uniformly. in every cell so this is the matrix 0 1 by 8 what is value of 1 by 8 it is 0.125 okay this so uh, rather than writing here 0 0.125 you can you can write this value also okay for example we are modifying this value okay this is 0 1 by 8 so it's up to you this is 1 by 2 okay same 1 upon 8 and first of all we will see this output from smooth filter uh, with this particular matrix and after that we will see after modification on these values so these are two images okay this is first in im first image without filtering 
second image with the filtering any image you can take and in this way okay for example some palm analysis we want to perform palm evaluation in this way okay if we want to study if we want to analyze any object any image very minutely very clearly then we use it okay and now if we modify this for example here also we want to see what will be the value of uh, that filtering operation now you can see that it is uh, clear it is it is visible at right hand side okay so you can see this so for some applications related to forgery detection or uh, to analyze any image from multiple angles then we can use it okay so we can check with other values also so in one in one by two so we are using this smooth filter so in one by two this is the output and uh, this is zero okay and here if i write one by nine on that hand then whether it will be clear or not you mean so you can see this so any any object you can take any signature any check any certificate okay. any particular value like uh, some particular image like for example this is the image okay written in this way and uh, if you want to see it m2 dot jpg and this is the actual filter this is actual filter we are implementing after that we will see it by modifications now you can see that it is uh, its intensity and uh, its clarity for example some signatures are done some signatures are inscribed which are not clear not clear pixels we can increase its intensity we can increase its depth in this way so we can check at which point it is giving better output in this way for any other like this now you can see that this uh, particular image is not clear i want to see it uh, clearly so one way is that i will zoom it but in zooming pixels will be burst so rather than zooming it you can see this is the 2.jpg file and uh, we are running here now you can see this so whatever objects are there with less clarity this can be passed with filtering operations in same way any other image we can take okay so many images are there so like this on this n.jpg if we want to see what will be the output of its filtering this this is actual and uh, this is okay so it will work effectively for low resolution image for low resolution and less clear images okay to improve the quality to improve visibility level in those images is it clear to all of you what is application of filtering
this clear to all up to this point i request all participants to please give response to expert participants can write in chat also yes clear sir clear sir इज इट ऑडिबल टू Uh, now we will see how to work with some other filtering operations with open cv uh, scilab integration okay so you can work on the background the matrix manipulations background formats of uh, different matrix okay so these values can be modified so it it is an area of research you can we can't modify these values half as hardly so we can't write Uh, we can't convert this zero to one by two or one by five. Okay, so what we can do for research work for uh, uh, scope of updating this algorithm, we we can create a set of uh, different uh, matrices. We can create a different uh, a set of different um, different values. So if this is the value, then how much resolution we are able to achieve? if this type of matrix we are using then how much accuracy and clarity we are getting from that image okay now we will see how to work with other variants of matrices for filtering so up to now we have seen with 3 by 3 matrix okay and we can check it using 3 by 5 matrix based filtering okay so this is the way. 0 this is 1 by 8 0 0.1 0.1 that is 1 by 9 okay so what is this this is the hybridization okay it is merger so in this particular case so if we recall this low pass filtering in low pass filtering we were having this matrix 1 by 9 1 by 9 uniformly in every cell if we merge it with smooth filter so merger or hybrid approach of smooth filter with traditional low pass filtering you can see here we are with 3 by 5 okay and in 3 by 5 we can also play with the values we can also play with different variants of that image so in same way we want we can work with videos so whatever frames we are capturing from a video on those frames we can implement filtering as uh, at initial point we have discussed that uh, some uh, black and white video we have taken or some recorded video from cctv or from webcam we want to improve its quality we want to improve its resolution we want to smooth it we want to make it eye soothing so for that we can use such type of operations okay so you can see this so i am typing it separately okay this matrix we can modify for research work we can create a data set if this is the matrix then what is the output then what is the accuracy level or what is the resolution if uh, this is the matrix then what is the accuracy level 
if this is the matrix, what, what is the accuracy level? For how much execution time is there? We can plot graphs in Excel. Okay. So if we want to run it in Scilab, in this way. So this is a traditional image. If we want to perform it, if we want to use it for a particular character. Now you can see that this is the output. Okay. If in same way, this is n2, okay, n dot jpg on this image. This is actual image and this is the new image. What we can do using these implementations, using these filters, we can create <clears throat> variants of images also. Variants. In machine learning, in deep learning, the first point is data preparation or data capturing and after that we prepare it. In that, there is one concept that is very, very important when we work with deep learning or machine learning or neural networks or uh, some applications related to data science. That is known as data augmentation. Data augmentation. So filtering can be used for data augmentation also. I'm asking you one question. Please reply in chat. And I will ask you one question, kindly reply in chat with yes or no. I'm having a data set of uh, fingerprints. For example, we are working in some forensic application. I want to work with deep learning. In deep learning implementation, I want to train a data set of fingerprints but I'm having on only two images, only two fingerprints. Will I get good accuracy or not? Is it possible to train? However, it is possible, but um, will it be suitable to use only two images as data set or only 10 images as data set, as training data set? Yes or no? Can we train a deep learning model with high accuracy? Yes, we can train, but with high accuracy, with high performance, with only five images, with only 10 images. Is it possible? Can we do it? Or will it, be, or will it give better accuracy? It will not be, okay. We can't, uh, however, it is not good to say can't. It is, we should not use only five images or 10 images in neural network in uh, deep learning. We should be having sufficient data set. Sufficient data set means 100 images. You might have seen in uh, pre-trained networks, in pre-trained models also, there are millions of images at back end. When we work with some implementations related to uh, neural networks or deep learning or machine learning or data science, we train a model with thousands of records, with thousands of images, not only with two images or three images. U using filtering, we can convert two images to 2000 images using data augmentation. What is data augmentation? Data augmentation means increasing the data set. I'm having only, I have captured only five images. You, using five images, I can't train or I should not train a network. I should not train a deep learning model. I should be having 50 images, 500 images. Filtering will provide me feature of data augmentation. So with playing these values in metrics, we can generate n number of images. So one image is genera uh, generated in this way. After that, this value will be modified. This matrix will be updated and another image you will get. So by that way, one image will be giving me 1000 images or any number of images I need. For example, I'm having only single thumb impression. I'm having only two images using 
filtering i can augment my data set are you getting what i mean to say kindly write in chat are you getting by which way so two images can be converted to 2000 images using filtering that is one of the key approach of uh, data augmentation okay is this point clear by which way data augmentation can be implemented using filtering so one image uh, from this to this so another image from this to this third image from uh, a particular variant to any other image okay so by that way a limited data set will be transformed to hundreds of images that is known as data augmentation it is one of the key parts in machine learning in data pre processing it is it is under the concept of data pre processing okay so image filtering so you can see that for example i have taken only single image only this image using im filter using a data augmentation technique of uh, image uh, filtering we can, we can con we can generate multiple variants of same image multiple variants of uh, same photograph multiple variants of same data set so to any number of times it can be converted okay so whatever image we are getting so another variant from this image then another variant from this image to another variant in same way if we are having a particular video from uh, we need different variants of same video so using data augmentation using image filtering technique as data augmentation we can elevate our data set okay now we'll see what is in high pass image filtering in scilab okay scilab open cv interfacing so in case of high pass filtering we implement sharpening we sharpen the image we increase the intensity in this way so in same way high pass filtering can also be used for data augmentation so it's up to you whether you want to clear a particular image for example some blurred image is with us so this is blurred image okay let me jump on this this is some blurred image okay and this image we want to sharpen so you can see this image sharpening okay i am filter using this matrix if i want to play with these values if i want to play okay uh, for example i want uh, i am using a positive sign now you can see this any different combinations if you if you want to make a hybrid approach so you can see low pass filtering as well as high pass filtering Okay. Uh, so direct function is available straight forward function im filter is given and uh, your image will be sharpened okay for example some blurred face we are having we want to make it clear okay we want to make it sharp for example this blurred face okay and uh, sharpening okay blurred signatures blurred image while running while traveling if you have captured image from camera 
many times it is blurred if you want to make it sharp then we can use this technique is it clear to all of you up to this point 